Before I start the video, I just want to let you know that this video is sponsored by All Star Comics and Collectibles in Lindenhurst, New York. I'll have the information linked down in the description. Go check them out. We got a lot. We got a whole new shipment of a bunch of graphic novels in. So if you're on Long Island, we got a lot of cheap graphic novels for you to buy. I even picked out a lot that I bought. So you'll be seeing a video eventually of my haul. Um, I did get a lot of stuff. I can't help myself when it comes to graphic novels, okay? Especially at those prices, I could not help myself. So, like I said, if you're on Long Island, check them out. We got a whole bunch of awesome stuff. Statues, comics, toys, all that good stuff. So check them out. Like I said, I'll have the information in the description. But anyway, welcome to another haul video for this week. I don't know the date, but it is in the title. Um, well, it's December 5th, right? Today's the 4th? I don't know. Whatever. Uh, it's the first week of December. It's new comic call. Uh, I'm going crazy. This the semester's almost over. So once that's over, it'll be a shit ton of videos coming out. So stay tuned for the next two weeks, uh, the like the middle of December. I'm um, gonna have a lot of awesome stuff. I'm, I have a really cool Conan video coming out, and um, if you're gonna you, if you saw the last haul, you'll know what I, the video is. But I'm working on that, so it's gonna be a bit pretty big video. So stay tuned for that. Um, but yeah, so, it's another haul. It's actually a small week this week, at, le at least for me. Not too many crazy things coming out. And, um, le let me see, if I, w if, if the whole 2099 event thing wasn't going on right now, I would have, would not have gotten three of the books that are in this haul, so. Anyway, uh, and also, the last week of December, I don't even think I'm getting any books just because of... Because uh, that Wednesday, the last Wednesday of December is Christmas, so the, I don't think there's any books coming out I, except for DC. Um, so I don't think I'm getting any books. I looked ahead. I don't think I'm getting any. So, but anyway, let's talk about this haul. We got Conan Serpent War number one, the four issue mini series where Conan is teaming up with Moon Knight. Yes, Moon Knight, Dark Agnes, and Solomon Kane. Solomon Kane and Dark Agnes, if you don't know, are two Robert E. Howard created characters. So that's really cool how they're incorporating that in Dark Knight. Agnes is also getting her own book, I believe, in February. So that's actually pretty cool. If I like that her in the series enough, I'll probably pick it up. But right now, I'm not too sure. It's only going to be five issues, a five-issue miniseries. So it's good, you know, that they're doing things like that, introducing these new characters. Maybe we'll even get a miniseries about Solomon Kane. But yeah, pretty cool. I'm excited for this. Like I said, four issues. The first two issues are coming out in December. The other two issues are coming out in January. And then we're getting Battle for the Serpent Crown in February, which is a five-issue miniseries. So there's a whole lot of Conan stuff going on next year. So that's going to be really cool. And uh, yeah. Probably my most hyped book for the week. I'm extremely excited for this book this week. And um, yeah, let me know if you want me to review this book for the, the weekly uh, comic book review this weekend. Um, I probably will, but we'll see. Let me know. Let me know. Uh, now, the two 2099 one shots that came out this week are Ghost Rider. And um, I don't have anything to say about the, these one shots. The other one is. Venom 2099. Of course, they had to do a Venom 2099 book, but I really have nothing to say about these two books. The 2099 one shots, the Fantastic Four one was okay. Uh, the Conan one was probably my favorite one because it was just the dumbest, the 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 so bad it's good one essentially. Uh, the Punisher one was actually very disappointing. So hopefully that this does not happen with these two one shots and. Um, yeah, and I, at the end, you'll, you'll, uh, I gotta talk about 2099 at the end a little bit more, but so stay tuned. But we got Thor the Worthy, I'm a sucker for one shots, and this is no exception. Walt, si Walter, Walter Simonson is coming back to write a Thor story, which is pretty cool. Uh, Beta Ray Bill's on the cover, I had to get it just because of that. But also, it's a one shot, and I like me some one shots. I, they haven't done it, a lot of these 80th anniversary Mar of Marvel one shots recently, they done them like it was. Been, it's I think it has been like one or two, one and a half, two months since the last one. So we haven't gotten these in a while, and this is another one that we're getting. I doubt we'll get any more. Uh, at least I don't think that we are. But yeah, so pretty cool. I'm excited for this one as well. 
Um, now we got Dr. Doom number three, probably my second, no, 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 actually, actually, you know what, this week is actually pretty, I'm pretty hyped for most of the books this week, Conan, Serpermore, and this one, Dr. Doom number three, last issue, Dr. Doom got shot by Taskmaster, and in this issue, I guess he's in hell now, and will probably get out of hell, and beat the shit out of Mephisto to do so, so, this series is really damn good, it's Doom. It's Doctor Doom. You can't go wrong here. Next, Savage Avengers number eight. Another book that I'm super hyped for this week. So, Conan and Doctor Doom are going to have a dinner together. They're going to be on a date together. So, that's pretty cool. And uh, so, that's, that's double the Doom. This Well, that actually, uh, this is not the only book this week that has Doctor Doom in it, surprisingly. Um... Yeah, Savage Avengers number eight. Series has been pretty good. Uh, the first five issues were just weird, but it was the start of the whole thing that they're doing with Cole and Goth, and then we had the 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 annual, which was pretty good, and then we had issue sixes, issues six and seven. Both have been pretty good, and uh, hopefully this is the same. I don't know how this long this is gonna go on for. I don't know if they're gonna stop at twelve issues because I know we're even getting a Savage Avengers issue zero, which is very weird. But this is basically just a Conan book. I don't know why they're calling it Savage Avengers, but it's just a Conan book. Um, really, that's it. Now, another book that I'm extremely hyped for. Book of the Year! Rob's gonna make fun of me for this, but this is the book of the year right here. Daredevil, issue number 14. Every single issue has been great. At least a 9 out of 10. Every single issue. Chip Zdarsky is doing this series super, super well. Holy shit. Like I said, it's a book of the goddamn year. If you're not reading Daredevil, you have to. It's great. Even if you don't like Daredevil, go fucking read this book. This is great, okay? Woo! Woo! Nothing else to say. Really great. And all the covers are great. Oh, All right, so it's time for the 2099 rant. We have Amazing Spider-Man 35. Another book with Doctor Doom in it. So that's three books this week that have Doctor Doom. Uh, in it, which is, I'm not complaining, but it's a little ridiculous. Um, anyway, Dr. Doom is in this book. There's a whole thing that's going on with Doom and 2099 and all this shit. To be honest, this is the weakest out of all the 2099 books. And I heard that Amazing Spider-Man was pretty a pretty good book. I haven't been reading it. This is the only, the only reason why I'm reading it is because it's tying into 2099. And this is basically where the main story is. But it's the weakest. I actually did not like issues 33 and 34. I think I also read... What else did I read? Huh. I don't remember. Did it start at 30? Whatever. But the last couple of issues of Amazing Spider-Man haven't really been the best. And the, like I said, the only reason why I'm reading it is because it's tying into 2099. And I'm, I'm definitely not continuing reading this. Because it's just... It's not really that good at least I don't think it's kind of just boring and I don't know the writing's a little off to me I it's just weird but I, I don't really like it honestly I don't know why I don't like it it's just I don't know it just it's not jumping out to me like how Daredevil or Doctor Doom those two series are but yeah guys that is my haul for the week that is what I have gotten this week. Let me know what you're getting this week uh, for New Comic Book Day down in the comments below. Let's talk about some of the books that you're getting, some of the books that I got, and uh, also comment down below what you want me to review this weekend. I'll probably review Conan Serpent War, but we'll see. If you guys want me to review something else, let me know, and I will try to get that up as a video as well. But anyway, guys, that's it for this video. Like I said, check out All-Star Comics and Collectibles in Lindenhurst, New York, on Long Island. Information is down in the description. Uh, the end screen is right here so that you can check out some other videos we have here posted on the channel. And subscribe if you're new to the channel as well. We got the comic book hauls every week. We got the Superhero Crew podcast every week. And we have comic book reviews every single week. So check out all that good stuff, guys. But anyway, that's it. I'll see you in the next one.